have just started a trek down Tiger Leaping Gorge and it's a two day thing. The first day we're gonna walk like six hours to the halfway house where we're gonna stay a night and then walk another probably six hours tomorrow. But the gorge is very beautiful, similar to Colca Canyon in Peru. Um, but yeah, look at the scenery. I'm doing it with Leslie and Myron. You can see behind me. Hello. No, thank you. You <laughs> uh, 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 English. English, yeah. <laughs> it would be good. <laughs> Very easy. <laughs> I've not had a lot of sleep over the last two days. And it's really, really showing while I'm trying to climb this mountain path. But we can do it, no problem. Just six hours. Is this that bit on the map where it was really bendy? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> At a li little windy, windy rest stop. Um, kind of a bit scary. This thing's gonna fall down on me, but... Apparently there's something called the A8 Bends coming on. Um, not sure what that means, but I think it's a lot of altitude and a lot of bendy track, which to be honest, I thought that last little bit was, but nah, it's good. And the views remain amazing, especially of these two bridges. This gorge that I'm currently in is called the Tiger Leaping Gorge and it is wedged between the Yulong Jade Dragon Snow Mountain, which is that one, and another mountain, which I don't know, but it's 
the Yulong Jade Mountains, 5,600 meters, and the other one's like 5,300. So this gorge, apparently at its deepest point, is roughly like 3,900 or 12,000 foot, I think it said, um, which makes it one of the deepest in the world. Um, a fair bit deeper than the Grand Canyon, actually. Um, and the river that flows through it is one of the main tributaries, tributaries, tributaries for the Yangtze River, um, northern Yunnan. But yeah, it's a very popular hiking place, and I can see why. All these tea houses and guest houses advertising with paint on the wall. Oscar coffee. Tea horse trade guest house. One hour. I'll see what that one's like. Everyone's got all the gear. I'm just here in my Air Max 95s. <laughs> to be fair, that's probably all you need. And some water. Ooh. Don't know if you can see down there, but that's the, the rapids of the Tiger Leaping Gorge and the car park as well. They said this gorge got its name from apparently a captive tiger escaped from somewhere nearby and they were chasing it and chasing it and it got away from them by leaping to a boulder in the middle of the gorge and then leaping to the other side and the men following the tiger couldn't chase it any further and that's why it's called Tiber Tiger Leaping Gorge a fitting name. Um, maybe we'll go to the supposed place where the tiger did this tomorrow. Uh, right now we're obviously halfway up the side of the mountain, but should be able to go down into the valley tomorrow or on the way to Shangri-La. Seems to be a little village on the side of the mountain over there. I wonder if that's where our guest house is gonna be. I know nothing about the guest house yet, just yet. All I do know is that there are a few people we met at the beginning of the walk who said they were also staying there. So maybe it's a popular one. Check out what I just found. It's gonna be very useful probably where I'm going. Bloody a hundred banknote for hell. Sweet. Over there. So that note 
I picked up is actually apparently four dead people. So they're like offered, um, I guess, at the funeral. So I think I maybe just robbed a hundred quid off maybe some dead grandma who, I mean, it did say hell, so maybe it was just a bad person, so I should have just kept it, but now the woman at the shop said I should probably probably put it in the bin, otherwise I might get a bit of bad luck. So I gave it away. Well, I put it in the bin. Nice place to cut wood, I reckon. using the chainsaw to cut wood not even as thick as a coke can <laughs> fair enough maybe they just didn't want to bring up the saw So here are some tombs and as you can see there's some money, <laughs> here's some more money, yeah, so yeah it's uh, definitely dead people money and definitely not the kind of money that I'd be wanting. <laughs> Oh well. That was me thinking I'll be sorted for the afterlife. Maybe I can buy a pack for when I do actually die so then people can maybe use one of those money guns from those trap videos. Trap, is that the word? Yeah. Yeah. A supreme money gun shooting out bank of hell notes. Check out these chickens. <laughs> what the hell? Hello. 